black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, so we got ourselves a standardized lunch meal here featuring the best meat snack you could ever throw in your mouth. And I promise you that. This is a European style pepperette from Schneider's. They are meat stogies and they are the best. They're just, uh, we'll talk about them momentarily. Also two tuna sandwiches. I made this tuna like two days ago. So it's been marinating in the fridge. It's my favorite way to uh, eat it because I love it when it marries and lives together for like a day or two and then it's even better salt and vin chips and then from the video with the tzatziki sauce we're gonna try and dip some of that tzatziki sauce because gotta try and use her up um got ourselves a cheese cigar too <laughs> known as a mozza stick uh, or a cheese string this is the different version but before we do anything more we must papa pour we're back on the pour today and we're going in with the Diet Doc DP. All right. So, a lot of things to cover right off the initials, I know. I, 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 I yammer on. But, um, you know, we like to know these preferences. If the preference is uh, that these tuna sandwiches, one is toasted, one is not. Um, one, the toasted one does have pickle and lettuce, and then the untoasted one is soft with just lettuce. In the tuna, how, however, mayo, salt, green onion, and celery. Very simple. I don't put pepper in it. I do do I do do hefty mayo though, because that's what's up. All right, pucker up. Perfect. All right, so. Let's just talk about this real quick. If you have the opportunity to get these, I think, I don't know where they are in the world, but. As far as the pepper it goes, it's so firm, right? It's super, very like dry aged. And I don't like pepperettes that are flaccid. They're jiggly. And limp. These have a tough skin, very salty. They just have a very unique flavor. If you know, you know. The purple pack. There's other indications of color in the other ones. So it's all about the purple pack. The Donatello of the meat sticks. I sometimes dip them in mustard or in barbecue sauce. They're actually better in barbecue sauce. All right, so I know tuna controversial dish sandwich some people love some people hate that's what you get with fish but one of my favorites ever this one's the toasted one and this bun and these sandwiches specifically bring me back to my grandma and road trips to Duluth to Minnesota <laughs> We have really good bakeries here in my city. They make awesome buns. These being one of them. But they come in like a stacked in like a row of six in a slender baggie. And my grandma would always throw together like six sandwiches and then like re-tuck them just into that bag and then spin it up. You'd be like an hour into the drive and just be like, 
you want a tuna sandwich? And you just, you'd have it on your drive. And for some reason, it'd be so good. And that's where my tuna affairs began. Really is one of my favorites. But like I said, it's gotta live in the fridge for at least a day, all made up. Even better if you go to Hard to eat though. I think the nature of a tuna sandwich is definitely more designed for an enclosed wall, like on a sub bun. Because in this scenario, it squishes everywhere. Structurally sound chip and tzatziki. Interesting. Kind of thought it might not work. Kind of doesn't. Mainly because salt and vinegar is so bright already. And tzatziki is really bright. So this is uh, the Thomas Edison of chips and dips. That light bulb peel into the uh, the mutsa. See this one? It like has big swirls that unravel, and then you can go down into the smaller, obviously how cheese strings work, but I prefer the original cheese string brand over these swirls for some reason. The original cheese string ones are just like, you can get crazy with those tassels. This one's not, not so much, like you have to, it's way more rubbery or something. So we just eat it like real pieces of cheese. All right, time for the softy. And that's the interesting thing about tuna sandwiches is it just depends on the day for me. Some days, my palate wants toasted, some days I want soft. They're great both ways. Today though, not soft. With the symbol of the lettuce, no, no pickle. Just taking it. You taste the onions more. And the celery. It's like onion pungent, celery herbaceous.
which kind of makes for a more savory sandwich. Like a sour cream and onion chip. You know how they're like rich? That's that. Definitely with the soft today. Should have had them both like this, honestly. Also, happy Easter to all y'all who celebrate, or even if you don't take it that seriously, just have had like a long weekend. I got a dinner on Monday. And let me tell you that the grocery stores are barren. People were out, I guess, early yesterday or early today. Today's Saturday. Just clearing the shelves for the long weekend. weekend. And their Easter plans, I guess. You know, family dinners and stuff. That or World War Three is like truly on its way. I don't know which one to be true at this point. Because the latter could be. With poutine over there. Acting crazy. But I hope you enjoy it if you get days off, extra time off, that you really enjoy that. I think mostly everybody gets at least one extra day off because... Pretty much everything, even sometimes like coffee shops and McDonald's close down. So I don't know how that works here, but even grocery stores, they close down for the day. I assume maybe McDonald's might stay open, but I don't even know. Dump. Though not incredibly exciting, some of my favorite kind of meals. Just like simple classic lunch. Amazing meat snacks. My favorite chips. And a favorite set, like say favorite sandwiches, and then cheese. Like you can't, like none of it you can go wrong with, really, in my opinion. But anyways, have a good weekend. Enjoy it. Enjoy your family dinner, family time. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Eat soft tuna sandwich, <laughs> and stay true.